Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Doyle. Welcome to this episode of Tracking 200. I'm uh, got my Woodman Arms muzzleloader today. I've got some fresh snow. In fact, I think it's the freshest snow I've been on in about two years. I've been dealing with some crunchy stuff, day old snow this season, and um, thanks to my wife for helping me get out the door this morning and get onto this fresh snow. I'm really excited to get in the woods and I've, uh, I've seen some tracks. Most of the tracks are paired up and the snow is pretty fluffy stuff, so it's hard right now to distinguish between, um, you know, what's a, a buck track and a doe track just because it's really, really fluffy. But if I get one by it itself, then uh, I've got a good chance of tracking one down. So let's go on adventure. All right, I got about a healthy maybe three, four inches of snow here. It's really powdery stuff and the woods are pretty quiet right now, but it is supposed to warm up to about 32 today. And uh, you can see it's all hung in the trees. I think we're supposed to get some gusts up to 20 miles an hour. So at the very least I can stay on these tracks and take them to their end because I know it's only been down for about six hours. And uh, in December here, they're not gonna be moving too far too fast. Oh yeah, one of these tracks is big. That one right there. Look at that. That's a nice track right there. All right. Here we go, baby, here we go. Those are a bunch of doe tracks, but this other track right there, that's a good buck track. Holy crap. All right. I just can't get over the size of this track. This is a big buck. Look at that bird. Look at that track.
long shot. I think I got him though. That's it's probably like a 150 yard shot off hand here. I knew I was on him fresh. I thought I heard a grunt over there and uh, I think it's a buck and a doe. Yeah, he's a big buck. Oh man, I gotta get loaded up here again. He ran a little bit and he stood broadside, kind of cornering away from me, looking back over his shoulder. He stood right there for me. Something's not right with that. What the hell happened there? Oh, shit. I lost my crushed rib sabbath. Okay, one more load down. I got this settled down. All right, I'm loaded up again. I was kneeling. I'm pretty sure right there. Okay, I'm gonna walk up there. Got my eyes on that spot. And keep a lookout for um, deer running or anything, but geez, when I saw him take off, he's probably only 60 yards in front of me here. And uh, I think he's with a doe or another small buck. There was another deer there. But um, he's got a big rack. I hope I had him on the second shot there. It was in the, r r real nice, perfect uh, open lane here. Just try to squeeze it off nice and gently. There we go. Oh my gosh, it was a long ways. Maybe further than I thought. Okay, ran right up this little skid trail. It was up here when I shot. Oh no. I think this is where I shot. He's hanging with his toe. So what I'm gonna do is actually just give him a little bit of time to settle down again. I should be able to catch up to him. I don't wanna push him too hard right now because he's he's uh just little tiny specks of blood. I wanna keep him close. He 
just put it down. He's a giant. Alright, so he keeps bedding down, and I've just got one round left to me. I think the smartest thing to do is to let him bed. I'm going to go down to the truck, get some more rounds. Unfortunately, I wasted one of mine, and um, then I'll come back. And that should give him enough time that he should still be here. He hasn't come out yet, and I just want him to stay in one spot. I don't want him running all across the country here. So that's my plan. All right, so I came back to the truck and I got uh, two more rounds loaded up, put those in the pack, and it's been about an hour since I last jumped the buck, and I wanna give him a little bit longer than this, so I'm gonna hang out here a little bit. I might take a little walk up in the woods here and see what I see for tracks, um, and then try to get back after him, give him like maybe two hours. All right, so I'm going straight up again. The plan is to get up in there close. I got it marked with an X and then check the wind, make a decision if I want to follow the track in or if I want to try to sneak in there, um, do a loop around him if the wind's right, make sure he hasn't got out of there and then just sneak in ever so quietly. So we'll see. Oh my god, there he is. Oh, he's a monster. Oh my gosh. To be able to come out here just in these beautiful woods and hunt such an amazing animal, I have everything to give thanks to. Sorry, buddy. Look at this buck. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh, how many points does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, 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 oh my god. Look at this buck. Holy smokes. Boy, I, 
I said it was a big track this morning. I said I can't believe the size of that track. And boy, it was big buck. Holy moly. What a gorgeous buck. One thing I want to do that's important is say thanks to my wife, Leslie. She supports me with all this track and 200 stuff and she knew how much fresh snow meant to me today and helped me get a babysitter lined up for the morning and the afternoon and, um, and it was worth it. I just haven't been on fresh snow and it feels like two years. So it's nice to get out here and reaffirm that with some fresh snow, good things can happen. So thanks, honey. Days like these, you don't want the drag to end. The only thing here would make it better is have my hunting partner, my dad, with me. Um, he'd love this. The track never ends. For more Track and 200, join the Track and 200 Facebook group. You can also follow the Mountain Hunter on Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us the thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell so you're notified when new videos come out. For official Track and 200 merchandise, you can find the store link in the video description.